Hey everyone, it's Curly Hero, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven Trials to Glory. So last time we actually took down Seto Kaiba, president of the KC, and took down the entire KC Cup. So we're now the champion. Uh, I was going to just kind of dick around, because like I mentioned last time, this game pisses me off, <laughs> and you know, it's kind of broken, it's not the best. But I do want to have fuck around in the like Shadow Realm section of the game. Um, so I'm going to try and skip over the next section of the game. Which is just like a national tournament. So it's basically the same exact thing we went over, I think. Um, I might just... I'll, I'll do some reconnaissance, I guess. I'll like uh, go through it really quickly. And then see if like there's anything that I really want to show. And then maybe we'll actually do it. But um, two things. Uh, this is this pack that I've been talking about for a while I thought came up at some other point in the game during the KC Cup but I guess it's actually after the KC Cup so we're gonna go ahead and buy one of these we do have a bunch of money because uh, we did win the KC Cup and you can see here there's really not a lot of packs available so this is what I was talking about last time where I just uh, kind of wiped this man out and he hasn't had time to restock but it takes him more than a day to restock so once I buy all of this stuff here he is uh, just going to be out of stuff and he will just randomly uh, show me some cards. Uh, like he'll just randomly, I shouldn't say some cards, but he'll just randomly show me a pack. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this. Um, yep, so we're exchanging. Uh, so we're not going to set that to any deck. I actually can't look at it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this. We actually managed to get another black Luster Soldier, which is nice. Uh, one of the things I found out is I can easily sort this by rare, so it shoots the rare cards up top, which is really useful when I'm opening up new cards. Um, there's also a setting for... Nope, I thought there was a setting for new, but there is not. So that's not half bad. Let's see what we get from this one. We're just going to get a Meter B Dragon, which is not half bad. I don't know how many... It doesn't show you how many copies of it you own, but I think... I think I only had like one of those, so that's not half bad. Uh, we're gonna get another Needle Worm and Skell Angel from this, as well as a bunch of other cards. Not nothing amazing there. Likewise, here we do get a Palin White Dragon and Tsukiyumi, as well as Giant Rat and Shining Angel and Pyramid Turtle. So, also not half bad. Here, we're not going to get anything too substantial. This is just a bunch of equips that we have. Hopefully, that helps us get through them. We're gonna get some field spells like. Gaia Power and Fusion Gate, which are pretty nice, so that's not half bad. And then finally, the last pack here. Gonna get another copy of Seven Tools of Bandits. That's pretty cool. Um, other than that, it's not really that big of a deal. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see here, he just has the one pack that you can buy the one pack of. So I just buy the one pack, <laughs> and then he will just have a, either the same pack or a different random pack. Uh, that's kind of disappointing that I didn't get to show you guys what that was. Um, I think I can... Let me... Hold on. Alright, so I brought it back. Um, we've got the... KC Special. So let's actually take a look at it. Um, so we can actually see what's in this deck. So this is a special deck. It might have been what Kaiba was actually using. Actually, no. It couldn't have been what he was using. Because this actually has... Um, well, you see what I mean in a second. So we've got some Cyber Steins, which is nice. I, already, I guess I already had two of them. So this is the third Cyber Stein, so that's really sick. We're going to get a bunch of Blue Eyes. Uh, some Magician of Fates. We're going to get Cyber Tech Alligators, which we didn't have, which is cool. As well as Horse Raiders. I already had that. Already had Spear Dragons. Already had Luster Dragons, as well as Arch Fiends. A bunch of just big monsters. We have 15 fucking Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragons. But we're going to get three copies of Regeki, which is nice, because I actually have zero copies of that. Uh, as well as some Megamorphs, Palmerizations, some Monster Reborn, so we can go to the Shadow Room, we can use multiple copies of it, as well as Heavy Storm, which apparently I didn't have, nor Premature Burial, which is good. Uh, we had Ring of Destruction and Negate Attack, so it just gives you a bunch of really good cards, so that's, that's fucking sick. Alright, so we're back, uh, and here we are at the Shopping District, and then you'll see in a second the other interesting thing about today. Um, talk to him if you have insects in your deck. So I guess at some point it's already said to mention 
that we've always feeling kind of down um so now i can be like oh go talk to him and it'll be the same exact thing as we did with mako where we just hung out with mako and we uh, just dueled using all insects and i guess probably forest is going to be automatically played on the field so let's quickly build an insect deck i already kind of started um let's let the deck and use and edit it so i kind of just went through and just added a bunch of bugs <laughs> uh of all the good bugs that i have so far and that was pretty much it i doubt that i got anything new just now um so let's see these are all basically earth attributes aside from flying camera curie who actually is really useless because i don't have any other uh wind monsters so let's uh go ahead and go back we got some new cards so we can actually use regeki so let's go ahead and add a copy of that as well as heavy storm and premature burial those are amazing cards um, let's go this direction so we can just go to all and then let's sort by type here and it's going to sort everything by its own type and then uh, what we can do is we can take a look at all of the insect monsters and I'm thinking I'll add maybe like four of them have like 19 monsters uh, and then just fill up the rest of the deck with spells and traps. I can't really do anything fancy, uh, unfortunately. Because the amount of insects I have, it might just be the amount of insects in this game. I could have swore I had more. But the amount of insects they have in the game, uh, well, I'm sorry, the amount of insects I currently own is not a lot. It's basically all you saw, plus all the shitty vanilla ones that really don't do anything. Uh, so the only other thing I can add is... Uh, this card that I used to really have a hard name, a hard time saying the name of, uh, but he's uh, he has 17 attack, uh, I think like 1100 defense. He's a well, he's a good vanilla monster that you probably used a lot in early Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so yeah, so here we go. We got the insects monsters here. It's just a bunch of vanillas that are complete garbage. I even have like Pinch Hopper. And I don't think I'm going to be able to use it aside from like with like Jirai Goombo or something like that. Because I don't even have Instant Queen. So there's nothing really here too substantial. Uh, this is I think only... No. Okay. The cost of 3,000 life points. You can discard one Fuse Monster from your deck to the graveyard. Yeah, that's kind of silly. Uh, I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, there's not really anything useful here it's funny how they have so much wind support but all the good bugs are actually earth monsters we could fuck around and add an arsenal bug um sure i mean there's literally no other situation but this guy grichin kuwagata i had to throw that yeah but there's literally no other situation where i'll ever be able to use arsenal bugs so i might as well use them now the strongest monster we've got is an empress mantis so i think i'll add in one of those take out one grichin and that's literally it. Uh, I, and I was going to add the Wicked Ream, Worm Beast, but he's actually a beast, which kind of makes sense because it's in the fucking name. <laughs> uh, but let's just, I guess, look at uh, some spells. This part is kind of hard because there's no... Like, this is what I'm talking about with this game. There's no easy way for me to just be like, all right, what are all the, like, super broken cards? So then I can just add all the super broken cards to my, my deck. I can't do that. Or what are all the limited cards? What are all the this kinds of cards? There's no way for me to like search. It's just, oh, here are all the spell cards. There's two fucking hundred of them. Uh, good luck. And it's just really hard to go through anything. Um, so we can actually add insect armor with laser cannon. Let's just add three copies of that. I don't know what we really have for like insect support. There's like, um, what is that called? Since we're just doing, you know, insect um uh dittos uh we can I, I can probably just run a copy of that card that kills all of the insects but i don't even know if i have that uh it's like aerosol spray or something like that oh no it's er eradicating aerosol so it destroys all insect monsters on the field so we can easily get rid of his monsters i don't think i have any monsters that i need to get destroyed i do have the pinch hopper so i guess we can use it with pinch hopper Try and see if maybe we can do some kind of combo with that. We do have the insect barrier, which is pretty insect. Uh, which is pretty insect. So that's actually... <laughs> we have some ironically interesting um, 
insect only cards that actually only work in this situation. So that's kind of useful. I'll throw in a tribute to the doom, that's always pretty good. And a uh, chain of heart. Uh, I try not to run a lot of trap cards because, again, this game is dumb and broken. So the trap cards don't actually work really well. So let's add widespread rune because I think I know that works well as well as uh, negate attack. Uh, and let's, you know what, just three copies of trap hole. I don't think he'll be doing any special summoning, so we don't have to worry too much about that. And finally, just a copy of Magic Jammer. That's going to be the deck. Nothing too fancy, but it is going to be enough to take on Weevil Underwood. Let's go ahead and check him out here. He's, yep, over here, and he's all like, Ah, oh, what's with that deck? Are you seriously thinking of challenging the one and only Weevil Underwood in an insect battle? Fine, the field will start off as forest. If I win, you better not insult my bugs by playing them ever again. Let's go ahead and take down Weevil Underwood here. We're actually going to go first. Um, we'll, we'll go, f or we're going to be able to decide who goes first, I mean, but I, I can go first, it's fine. We have the forest here, which is going to boost up all of our monsters, but already we got the uh, uh, eradicating aerosol as well as the change of heart, but also the insect barrier. So he's actually not even going to be able to do anything, so we're just going to smack down insect barrier. And then, uh, I don't know, Guru Chin. Got a nice 19 attack, and then we'll just pass. I really don't think he has anything that can even go through Gurchin, but yeah, <laughs> Insect Barrier immediately destroys them. So let's uh, let's summon Jirai Gumo. I don't know if I really want to use Jirai Gumo here. Um, I might even be able to win. Let's see. That gives him a nice 26 plus this. That's like 54, 52, something like that, so that's not enough. Uh, but we can probably win next turn. So let's actually attack with the Gurchin, even though he has the more attack. I want to give the... oof, he has the Man-Eater bug. I could have, I guess, stolen that, flipped it, and made it kill itself. But, um... I could have made your Grumbo attack a lot higher, so it's kind of almost worth it to flip the coin, but it's fine, it's whatever. We're gonna get another Gurchin here. Hoping we can get an attack in. Because once I get one attack in, I can literally just go for game by doing Change of Heart. And I'll have just massive attack. It's actually going to be a Pinch Hopper here. So he's gonna be able to summon an insect from his hand. It's actually gonna be Neobug. Ooh, he actually has the Neobug. That's the strongest. Level 4 Insect, I think, uh, in this game. I don't think we have Insect Knight. So I think that's the strongest one that, um, uh, aside from like Arsenal Bug, but Arsenal Bug is, you know, sack of garbage. Oof, got our own Neo Bug here. Let's see if we can just go for the change of heart here. Really quickly, steal his monster, hopefully it's something with some attack points. It's gonna be the Skull Lady Bug. Well, alright. That might be just enough to take him down. Um, so Skull Lady Bug is 700. That puts him at 637. Um, let's do Neil Bug, which puts him at 47. Gruchin. Oh, he's probably going to have like 200 life points. It's going to bring him down to 280. Yeah, he has 200 life points. Well, that's super unfortunate, but okay. He hasn't really been putting up too much of a fight. So we're gonna end. You can go ahead and take back your Skullmark Ladybug. You're gonna put in defense mode, I can imagine. Ooh, Fairy Meteor Crush. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Laser Cannon Armor? Oh, what? Laser Cannon Armor? Holy shit, this is a big boofed up bug, but it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> uh, he can't attack. Not only can he not attack, but all my monsters are stronger than it. Uh, so. It's a valiant effort. He, he, I figured he might as well power up his bug. Uh, I hope this doesn't do something stupid where it like hits the graveyard so he gets life points. So it's like, oh no, he didn't lose. Because you know how stupid this game can be. But no, thankfully that doesn't happen. We take down Weevil pretty easily. Oh, it's a match. Okay. That's fine. Uh, shouldn't take too long. I didn't expect this episode to be so long in general, but oof, already got the insect barrier. 
So, doesn't seem like he had any, any spell or trap removal. Well, he does have the man-eater bugs. And he might have like swarm or locust or some shit like that. So let's go ahead and go into insect barrier right off the cuff. Um, and we're actually, yeah, going to go into pinch hopper here. Just in case he has a man-eater bug, as he did last time. Let's go ahead and attack into that. It's actually going to be the skull marked ladybug, so I'm not going to be able to do anything to it. Um, but that's fine. Next turn, I can actually summon my arsenal bug, and we'll actually have 2200 for that, which it won't be that bad. And set, okay. She got the needle worm. Let's go ahead and throw out the arsenal bug here, who doesn't lose his attack for once in his life. Um, let's try and get some value off the arsenal bug here and go through the skull mark ladybug. Unfortunately, we will is going to get 1500 life points or 1000 life points. I thought it was 15. Okay. And then let's attack into this, which is hopefully. Oh, that's a Neo bug. I was hoping. I was going to say, it's hopefully not a, a another one of those bugs. Another one of those uh, ladybugs, I mean. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, he's not going to be able to attack still. So I got insect barrier. I could just play that, but I'll just keep that in hand. So let's go ahead and play another Arsenal Bug. Uh, we got my fucking amazing Arsenal Bug beatdown deck here. Uh, so let's go ahead and use Arsenal Bug number one to get through this Neo Bug here with amazing 2019 stats there. And let's use the other Pinch Hopper, or not other Pinch Hopper, but use our Pinch Hopper here to go through. Ooh, Jirai Gumo has no defense. Has like 300, so I'm gonna be able to go through that easily. And let's go attack directly with Arsenal Bug. You love to see it, you love to see it. I don't think Arsenal Bug has ever been able to do anything in any duel anyone's ever played ever. So that's awesome. Um, we can, I guess, play a Pinch Hopper here and go ahead and use the Change of Heart. And go ahead and do. Ooh, he's actually got the magic jammer. So he's gonna block that. Okay. I wonder what he discarded. He discarded a fissure. Unlucky. Could have been able to use that next turn, but I think that would have just triggered my pinch hopper. Uh, not that I really have anything useful in hand, but. Uh, he's gonna actually get the flying Kamakuri number one. So he's gonna be able to go through all of them right now. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything, unfortunately. I was gonna try and see if maybe I can bounce, uh, crash, or not crash, but hit Pinch Hopper into that and maybe get a float of my own, but nope. He's just gonna go and get all these pluses here. Let's see if he lands on something useful in the end. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the last Flying Kamakuri number one that he has available. And he's actually gonna end with these, uh... Four star Ladybug of Doom, uh, which unfortunately my Pinch Hopper can walk right onto. I don't know why he summoned that, and that might have been the only thing he had. Uh, but I definitely think something else would have been a little bit better. So he could have maybe set that and could have easily wiped the floor of my entire field. But okay, so we're gonna go ahead and send this Man Eater Bug. Might not get to use it. Uh, let's just play it safe. Oops, that's actually Pinch Hopper. Okay, it's fine. I thought it was an Arsenal Bug. Actually, Jirai Gumo, so it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead with the other Pinch Hopper here. Attack him directly for 12, which puts him at 30... Sorry, 42. I uh, need an Arsenal Bug. It's going to hit him, leave him at uh, 2,000, which is Arsenal Bug's base attack. So we're going to finish him off with Arsenal Bug. Okay. Arsenal Bug is such a weird card, because I always see it in Duel Links, at least early Duel Links, and I was like, oh, wow. Uh, Duel Links is, you know, great for making cards that you would never play in the actual TCG viable. Maybe it could work for Arsenal Bug. It didn't work for Arsenal Bug. This can't be! Hey, we both love insects, so let's be best buddies! Ah, uh, take this as a sign of our friendships! Uh, uh, see ya! Yeah. He's gonna give us a bunch of insect cards, just like Mako did, uh, who gave us water monsters, but... Uh, this one is slightly less useful because I think the water monsters was you know several different water attribute monsters I think it was but this is only monsters of the insect type exactly so that's kind of useless you know we're gonna get a bunch of cards that we do have nothing interesting I don't know if they have um, 
the big bug that has like 2800 attack in this game, because that's the only good insect that I can think of I can really use, aside from like Doom Dozer or something like that, but I don't think that releases for a while. Um, so yeah, nothing useful there. Uh, as usual with this game, a huge waste of time. <laughs> Take care of yourself.